Hey guys and what's up? And this is my first video tutorial, so if I um mess up or something, don't hate on me in the comments. But uh I've been the reason why I'm doing this tutorial tutorial is because I've been looking over the internet trying to find out how to make a portal for this project I was doing. And it's been so hard to find something that's really good but simplistic. And this, as you can see, is just one element. It's not even pre-composed. Um, and in and of that element, there are... Uh, I'm going to be going through fractal noise, curves, glow, and uh, roughing the edges. There's some force motion blur in there just to give it more effect. Um, and you see, it's really easy. But I've seen people pulling off uh, from, I think, Video Copilot when they had a bunch of smoke effects around the back and it looked good but I mean you know some people don't want to spend the time and you know here this is this is it so uh just start off with a new composition and 1920 by 1080 it's alright five seconds and we're just going to add another solid uh, same uh, be, it'll be alright I made this one white Maybe I should make this one white too. Okay, well, first thing you gotta do is you gotta create your mask. Uh, that can easily be done by going up here to the um, masking tool. Don't wanna do that. And clicking the oval, that's right here, right, the ellipse tool. And you're just gonna click in the center and you're gonna hold command or control for. Um, PC, and you're just going to click and drag out while holding that, and it keeps it centered, so you can go a little wily and holding command. If you don't hold command, it'll just go everywhere. Also, if you wanted to keep it a perfect circle, you can hold um, Alt-Shift, but we're trying to make a normal portal, so I'm not going to go into too deep about that. Um, so right here, we have our basically our base, if that's what you want to call it. And you're just going to go right through here and um, fractal noise. Here it is, right here. Um, and you're going to go up here and you're going to change the fractal type to mm -hmm. strings. Going to bring it to spline. I don't even know what that means, noise type. Um, and you're going to bump up the contrast to about 150 and bring down the complexity to 1, as far as you can go, just 1. Boom. So there you can see a bit of it kind of showing up. Um, if you wanted to, you could uh, change up the brightness and everything, uh, bring down the brightness a bit to, you know, give it a bit more transparency and contrast. And from there, what you're going to do is you're going to go to transformation and you're going to scale it down. So, you know, you could scale it all the way down and make it, you know, that bad TV look. But we're going to bring it about uh, 45, 43, 45 is all right. And um, so there is your basic inside of what you saw here. That's just the um, inside form. And so if you go back, you're going to have, like I just said, the inside. I mean, come on. Uh, so what you're going to do now is you're going to feather the mask. I mean, I should have done that earlier, but, you know, it's kind of self-explanatory. The rough edge is going to be changed up a bit right now. So you're going to rough in the edges right here under stylize if you're going to go up here to the little top thingamajigger and you're gonna bring that down right there now you see it creates like a um, ripple effect around the edge is what I have right there and we're going to have the settings by uh, making the border a bit bigger keeping the, um, mo the mode the same you could also well, I'll get to what I was going to say later, but, you know, just fiddle with the um, settings a bit, bring this up, 
the sharpness, the complexity up a bit. And then what you're going to do, which I forgot to do here, Fractal Noise, um, so if you want to go back and stop what you're doing, then you can. But you're going to go up to Fractal Noise, you're going to Alt-click the little stopwatch, and go Time 100, or Time times 100. Let's try that again. Didn't work. Yep. Time times 100. There we go. And you're just going to click away. And so now, when you scrub through it, it's going to move accordingly. You can do 100 through 150, whatever you want. So you're going to do the same thing with the evolution right here. So this is what makes the background move like that. Um, so you're going to let's just set this back to 0. 0, 0. And you're going to alt-click. Do the same thing. You did time times 150 because it's just the outside, it should move a bit more. And so, there you have a very simplistic kind of portal thing going on. Um, so, what you want to do is you want to increase the scale of this a bit um, or shrink it. Let's see, yeah. just right. And if you want to, you could actually add another edge around here, basically by duplicating the mask, um, subtracting this, and then uh, feathering it inward. But that looks hideous. Don't do that. Don't do anything I just did, because that looks ugly. Anyways, back to what I was doing. What you're going to do now is you're going to make sure you have what you like. And there's going, you see there's an outer rim right here. And that's due to the second mask. That's what I was trying to do, but that never really worked out well. So what you're going to do is you're going to, like I said before, duplicate the mask. And there it gave you a little extra space around the edges. Um, so now the border... You could change that up, make it a bit more wily, as I'd like to say. And there you have it. That's your basic idea. Now let's go back here and look. Because mask 1 and 2 are in the same place. And they... Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to bring the brightness down to negative 54. Negative 54. It makes it all gloomy if you wanted to have a background there. I'll show you how to do the background in a bit. In a bit. So, okay, here, let me do the background right now. Um, have this image. I don't even know where I got it from, but looks like. Almost reminds me of GTA, but whatever. Anyways, um, you're going to bring this over the top, and what you want to do is you want to change the mode to screen. Uh, if you wanted to do that, you could also probably try add. I haven't tried this. Um, but I keep getting off track. What you're going to do next is you're going to go back over here. You're going to curves. And you're going to apply your curves right there. Um, and you're going to raise the brightness again. And to get the blue color, just Bring down the red if you want that turquoise. Bring down the green a bit more too to get a bit more blue. I also added um, a glow under that, which is what also gave it that outside ring, that nice edge. So we're going to add a, a glow here. Make it look nice and portally. Um, you're going to lower the threshold of the glow to about 50, right? And you're going to have the glow radius, you're going to bump up the glow radius. Uh, it gives it more of a, um, more of a softened glow, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. 
Uh, and, you know, this is all of experimenting. And, you know, you could change the, uh, the intensity and everything. I like to bump up the radius a lot. So it gives a glow outside of just the normal, um, the inside in and of itself. And so here you are. Um, that's almost like the basic, you know, thing that I have here. And what you're going to do now is you're going to add in. What did I add in? Wow. The CC4 motion blur. It doesn't do much, but trust me, it just adds a bit more effects. So you're going to go force. There it is. And. Um, I'd suggest changing the um, resolution if you're going to do motion blur. Motion blur doesn't have to be enabled or not. It doesn't, ch like I said, it doesn't change much, but it just gives a bit more effect. Now, um, so basically, here it is. There's your portal, right? Uh, and you're wondering probably right now how you are supposed to get. Here, how about a Gaussian blur? Whoa. That would look nice. Just turn it up a bit. Turn it up. Okay, bring it down. And there. Uh, I'm also probably going to go back up to Fractal Noise and scale it down a bit. Down to like 33. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so. Earlier, I was talking to you about the image right here, how you're going to bring that over. And if you wanted to just do an outer rim, what you could do is you could take the opacity, bring it down a bit, just go over it again. That's not what I wanted to do again. Um, you can go to the middle, command, and open it right up. Right there. Uh, probably adjust things in a moment. Um, move this around and bring the opacity right back up. I'm going to feather the mask a bit, like always, and there you have it. There's your portal. And um, you could also change the colors earlier, like I, I've done before. Uh, so if you were to go down to curves, um, bring the red back up, uh, it's pinkish, interesting, but you could do every, you could do all sorts of colors with curves. You could do a wide range of things. It's all up to you. Um, the power's in your hands and it was really easy to do, uh, change whatever's in the center here. And so there you have it. There's your portal. Hope you liked the tutorial. And tell me if you want me to do another tutorial on something I've done before in the past. Because I'm not sure how this is going to all play out. So, um, there. Here's the final product, and there it is rendering. So, there you have nice, smooth movements of the portal itself. You can, um mess around with all the different things that you have over in your effects and presets. And here it is, one solid and nice portal. Uh, turn this off and there you have it, the inside. So thanks for watching everybody and comment below if you like the tutorial. And if you want me to do any tutorials on anything I've done in the past, that would be great. So thanks for watching everybody.